Okay, so in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make a branched simulation. And the starting point for this is to record an application and to get the main path of that branch. So we're going to use uh, inserting a table in Microsoft Word as the host application for that. And we're going to put that table in using the long method of inserting a table and remembering dimensions for it. Great, so we've recorded the main path. Now let's go back to TT Knowledge Force and add in a second path. This is an absolute doddle. From the structure tab, just add in a parallel path and give it a name. OK, so look to the right hand side and you can see in the path editor now in a second that the second path is going to be there. Bingo! Right, next step is to record the second part of the simulation. Now before we record it, we need to rewind that simulation back to the point before it had the table inserted. So just delete the old table, go back to the Insert tab, and now we can record the second path. So this time, don't insert the table a long way, do it the quick way. Great. Stop the recording, and now we can go and look at what we've got. So now we have two paths, and we can edit the second path to get rid of some of the slides that we don't need from TT Knowledge Force. Clicking Insert and Table we don't need. We literally just need the one click on the 4x1 cell for the table. Just adjust the highlight slightly. Great. Now, looking at the point where our path branches away, we need to have an option now to put in the second click. So here we can put in another interaction object. Let's give it a name of 4x1 for the 4x1 table. It's of type table cell. OK. And now just move that green interaction object on top of the 4x1 table cell. Lovely jubbly. So now we just need to configure this. When you click on that point, it takes you to the second path. You do this from insert interaction and going to a um, branch. That's right. And from here, we choose the target path of the second target path. Click OK. And there we have it. So all that's left to do now is just save this and test it. Let's see if it actually works. Export our e-learning. Open it up. And let's go through the simulation. So to start off with, go to our Insert tab, click on Table, and let's do it the fast way. Yep, that works. In our e-learning, rewind using the sitemap back to the start of the e-learning. And we can test it now going through the long way. And indeed, that seems to be working as well. So there you have it, a branch simulation using TT Knowledge Force. It's dead easy. Why don't you all give it a go?